I'm now going to teach about writing a profit pulling product description. One thing you will notice is that 95% of Amazon listings don't have a product description. I will teach you how to make a compelling description that outlines the benefits of what you're trying to sell. Done well, this will put money in your bank account. Not everyone will scroll to the product listing, but we will include a great product listing for those customers who do decide to scroll down the page. A great product description supports your title, images, and bullet points. I recommend using your bullet points as sections within your description, using each paragraph to flesh out the benefits of each bullet point and tell people how your product will make their life easier or more organized. A simple framework to remember that will help you with your bullet points and description is this, features or bullets tell, benefits or descriptions sell. We focus on emotion, which means selling the benefits of what you're selling rather than just talking about the dry features of the product. Product descriptions will help you sell more. There's no doubt about it. Once you start selling more of your products, you find that you'll be discovered more easily, which of course leads to more sales. Most sellers don't use product descriptions properly. Some don't use them at all. Even Amazon are guilty of this. You have a 2000 character limit. This gives you plenty of room to write really compelling product descriptions. Now we will use a very simple HTML formatting, which I will demonstrate to you. So don't worry, there is a template that you can use for your own listings under this video. So you don't have to actually learn HTML. I will teach you a simple formula to make this easy for you. The formula that I'm talking about is of course the ADA formula. ADA stands for awareness, interest, desire, and then action. You've likely already got your customer's awareness with your title and your images. Your bullets help them develop their interest. You'll now use your benefit-driven descriptions to build a desire to purchase your product, and then close out your description with a call to action. Think about if you were trying to sell this product to yourself, what would you want or need to read to make you wanna buy the product? Make sure that you actually use the word you when you're writing your description. Imagine that you're speaking to a friend and don't write in the third person saying things like people or customers. Write to your customer directly. It will make your descriptions far more compelling. The main elements of your description are the main headline and main section, subheadlines and subheadline section, and then a final call to action. You should use your Amazon mining review information to help you write benefit-driven statements. Focus on writing about the elements customers love about your product. You would have read about customers saying that they loved th certain things about competing similar products. Tell them that your product has what they said they want from your competitors' products. Finally, tell them how your product will help them avoid negative experiences and how your product is better than the competition. Of course, you shouldn't actually reference your competitors whenever you're doing this. Let's take a look at how you'll do this step by step. Step one, we'll use our research from earlier using the content review as I just mentioned. Use your bullet points as section headings, creating simple eye-catching headlines to encourage customers to read on. You don't use your bullet points verbatim from the bullet point section. You use the bullet point and turn it into a heading. I'll show you an example of that later. Focus on benefit statements using phrases like, which means that, in order to show how the features help them achieve specific outcomes. Essentially, you're gonna take negative statements from competing listings and write the opposite of those statements. This is a great way to build strong bullet points and strong descriptions. Why? When people buy, they have inherent objections or reasons why they don't wanna buy. When you write bullet points this way, you're going to remove those objections from the customer's mind as they're reading your description. This is a really strong way to write copy as it's like you're reading your prospect's minds. You can also do this with love statements too, but instead of creating an opposite statement, focus on the benefit and rewrite that statement. How do we do that? You might be asking yourself. The first thing we do is we take the direct quote from the customer's review. We'll find this within our Amazon review mining. Here's the statement that the customer made inside a review on a competing product. The netting is wrapped over the frame and held firmly in place with the white ring, which is also secured on with a couple of white screws. Now we write a benefit statement based on that piece of content from the customer's review as follows. We create the following statement. This means that you can collect more leaves and debris without worrying about the skimmer breaking. 
it will save you lots of time and money because you won't have to replace your skimmer every year. What we're doing here is we're connecting a feature with a benefit. And when we do this, the feature being that the frame is held with screws, we then rewrite the original piece we copied and pasted from the customer's review into our own words. This looks something like what we have on the screen. We say our skimmer's strong netting wraps around the durable white frame secured by multiple reinforcing screws. This then leads us onto the final statement that reads as follows. Also may have noticed that we've created a simple catchy headline to go with this section. This is a great way to attract your customer's attention to particular features. In this case, the fact that the skimmer is strong. So we can say, because you need a strong skimmer, and we might have used a bullet point previously that was along the lines of how it was strong or how it held lots of leaves or something like that. We then use the paragraphs that follow along from it to outline the benefits of the product to the customer so that they can see how the product will make their lives easier or more manageable once they purchase it. I will now go through the description template which I have shared with you below this video. So here we are in Google Docs and this is where you'll be able to get your copy of the product description HTML template. It's important though that you copy everything in here and then once you've copied it, paste it into a text editor. And that's important to do that because it will remove all of the formatting that you'll have um, when you're using a Google Doc or if you were using a Microsoft Word document. Because when we um, paste this into Amazon, it needs to be clearly formatted um, from a text editor and, and not from, from Google Docs. So it's quite simple. Just copy and paste this into um, any standard sort of text editor. And the way it works is I showed you previously how you can put a headline in here um, and the B on either side of it in the pointy brackets. Just means that when we copy and paste this into Amazon in the next video, it will make the heading bold. And then anything inside the, the pointy P um, brackets, anything in this area here will be considered a paragraph. That's what the P stands for. And um, here's where we will just change the text in here to um, what I showed you in the um, previous part of this video, where um, we've got four different sections. Here's where you put the first um, section, then you've got another part for the, the next bullet point headline and then we change the text in here. And as long as we keep this within 2000 characters, um, when we copy and paste this from our text editor and into Amazon, everything should work. And I'll be able to demonstrate that to you in the next video when we put everything together. See you then.